So changes in the price level do not impact real production potential. We're literally talking about how much can we produce. If I look at the whole economy and all the goods we produce, I want to know how much can we make. That's our real production potential or potential output. That's what we can make. What can we make is determined by our inputs and the way that we can transform those inputs into output. The price level is irrelevant to that question. And this is described by the theory of money neutrality. So the theory of money neutrality says that in the long run, if we change the money supply, if we change the amount of money in the economy, there's going to be inflation. Prices will go up, but it will not impact any of the real variables in our economy. Okay, output will stay the same. Unemployment would stay the same, et cetera. Now, this is probably only true in the long run. We can show this kind of theory of money neutrality by thinking about how a change in money supply would work in the context of this long run model. And then, of course, we're building this model mostly to understand short term business cycle fluctuations. And we'll get to that when we introduce short run aggregate supply. But for now, we just have long run aggregate supply and aggregate demand. And we want to think about how an increase in money supply would affect this situation. So we're starting out here at this long run equilibrium level of output and this long run price level. And when we have an increase in money supply, it means that we're going to have more money circulating in the economy, obviously. So we have an increase in the availability of funds that banks have to loan out. That's going to decrease the interest rate, leading to an increase in both consumption and investment, shifting aggregate demand outward. All right, so aggregate demand shifts out. We have this increase in the money supply. There's more money out there circulating. People are gonna go out and spend more money. They're gonna borrow money, but we can't produce more stuff. So people have more money. They're trying to buy more stuff, but there's not more stuff to buy. I mean, we can't just all of a sudden magically produce more stuff without more workers or more capital, better technology. So the amount of stuff we can produce is fixed. And the consequence of that is that the price level will increase. So that drives up prices. There's more money chasing the same amount of goods. The prices of those goods are going to go up. And this is the theory of money neutrality. In the long run, we increase money supply. That will increase prices. But we have the same level of output. We have the same need for labor. It's not going to change employment. So there's no change in the real variables within our economy, only the nominal variables, right? So what's different? A cup of coffee costs $2 instead of $1. It is still a cup of coffee, right? The real output is the same, but the nominal output has changed. In the next video, we'll introduce short run aggregate supply, which will help us think about understanding those business cycle fluctuations.